teaching of lessons to students has become a challenge to all teachers worldwide. And because of this, iba't ibang alternatibong paraan ang dumitaw para ito yung masolusyonan. At isa sa solusyon dito ay ang online distance teaching. This is a teaching via internet where students are not physically present in a classroom. This video is not about the discussion on distance teaching or distance learning, but instead a tutorial on one platform that we can use to make distance teaching possible. Handa ka na ba sa gantong sistema? Sabi nga ni Corina Sanchez, Handa na ba kayo? Kaya, matkinig ka, matsaya to! This video tutorial is not a paid promotion of quizzes. This is made for all teachers who would like to explore effective remote learning platforms and applications. Thank you! Quizzes! Ano nga ba itong quizzes? Quizzes is a self-paced learning tool that helps every student celebrate their achievements. Teachers may incorporate quizzes into instruction, review, and assessment. So like other online platforms, you can use quizzes para makabag-discuss ng mga lessons and also makagawa ng formative at summative assessments. Punta ka lang ng Google and then search for quizzes. It's letter Q-U-I-Z-I-Z-Z. -Z -Z, and then make sure that you will click sign up kung wala ka pang account. So once you click sign up, ito ang lalabas. It's either you will choose your own email or kung meron ka ng email sa Google, you can just click it. So, sign in with your Google account. Pagka-sign in mo, you will be asked if you're using quizzes as a teacher, as a student, etc. So, in our case, syempre, as a teacher, so you have to click that. But your students must have their own quizzes account also. So, as you can see, pag-open mo ng quizzes, ito ang mga lalabas. So, to verify if ikaw nga yung nakapasok dyan sa quizzes, look at the upper left corner and you will see your profile picture from your Google account and the name that you use in your Google account. So how do we use these quizzes? Well, quizzes is made for creating fun games and serious online assessments. Okay, as you can see, may isang malaking tab dyan para sa mga public quizzes na ginawa din ng ating mga colleagues at may isa pang tab para sa paggawa ng sarili nating quiz. So kunyari, gusto natin gumawa ng sarili nating quiz I-click nyo lang yan, ito ang lalabas. So, when you create a quiz, make sure you will put a name and then click the related subject. And then, you will see the different question types like multiple choice, check box, fill in the blank, poll, tsaka open and then Once you create, quizzes will be saved in the My Quizzes tab and can be shared with colleagues as well. So, how do you start a game in quizzes? So, once you pick a quiz, it's either the quiz that you made or you pick a public quiz. You can conduct it in class with their live mode or assign it as a homework game for students to practice on their own time. Students can use any device with the browser to join the game and you see data for individual students and the class as a whole. So, pagpunta mo ng quizzes, you may search for your specific topic. Kunyari ako, nilagay ko dito ating integers. Search for it. Ayan, may mga lalabas na mga relevant quizzes. And for example, I click this one. At ito yung lalabas. And sa baba, makikita nyo yung mga sample questions. And we have to check if yung question ba dun sa public quiz ay tama at yung mga sagot na nakalagay ay tama. After checking, you have to decide kung live nyo siyang gagawin or you will assign it as a homework. So, kunyari, nag-play ka ng live. Ito yung mangyayari. Ito yung lalabas sa screen mo. And then, kunyari, ikinlinik mo na yung continue. The game code will come out. Okay? So, kunyari, may game code na nabinigay and you have to give it to your students. Kung, kung nagka-conference call kayo using Zoom, Google Hangout, pwede nyo yung ibigay. And then, so, kunyari, klinik ko tong start. Pag klinik ko yan, hindi mag-open ng game kapag wala pang estudyante. Of course, kailangan may estudyante ka muna para makapag-start ka. And syempre, you have to check kung sino-sino yung mga nakapasok para sabay-sabay silang magsimula ng game. As an added bonus, you may use a conferencing tool, just like what I said a while ago, like Google Hangouts or Zoom, to share your screen so that everyone can see the leaderboard and the game summary as you review questions. Even if someone can join using the conference link, they can still see questions on their own device. So, ito yung sample na gumamit ng Zoom. Tapos, nag-share screen, pinakita ang leaderboard sa mga estudyante. So, data that matters. Quizzes provides you with great data for all of the games you conduct. 
you can use the feedback from reports to change your lesson plan in real time. Their reports give you a clear view of your overall class performance as well as a break breakdown for each student. Quizzes auto grades all your quizzes and you can download and print these reports in different formats. Are there any quizzes apps? So quizzes works on any device with a browser. So it's either a phone, a tablet, a laptop. They also have free apps with additional features for Androids, iOS, and Chromebooks. So, is Quizzes free? Yes, Quizzes is completely free for K-12 teachers. There are no paid features for K-12 teachers on Quizzes, and you can use everything for free. There are also no restrictions on the number of Quizzes you can create, conduct, or play. How many people can play Quizzes at the same time? There is a limit of 500 players who can join a single quizzes game. Just make sure you have a high-speed internet connection if everyone is playing from the same venue. So in this case, dahil nasa bahay lang tayo, hiwahiwalay tayo ng mga devices at hiwahiwalay tayo ng internet connections. Hopefully, mas mabilis, does each student need a device? Well, definitely yes. Since the questions appear on the device, every student needs to have their own device. So look at these quizzes. As you can see, hindi lang siya para sa math. May iba-iba ding subjects like English and language arts, social studies, computer science, world languages, technical education, creative arts, health, and PE. So, madami pa. So, once you go to quizzes, pwede nyo yung ma-explore pa. Mat dali lang naman, di ba? Mat saya rin gamitin. So, while you're getting ready for an online distance teaching, mat simula ka na. Mat dali lang matutunan. Share mo rin sa iba para maging mat saya rin sila. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.